I'm going to show you how to use Google Sheets, which is accessible to just about every student, to create a very easy to edit and very easy to print and share Ozobot track. The only thing I've done with this brand new Google Sheet so far is I gave it a name, the Ozobot Track Creator. First thing you need to do is click this little box right here to select all of the rows and columns. I'm going to bring the width of the columns down to be as close to a perfect square as I can get them. That one's just a touch off there. Uh, if you're off just a tad, it won't matter. Now, A through Z is not going to be enough to give you the what you need to fill a whole sheet of paper. So I know that I need to copy A through M, and I'm just going to highlight those rows, I'm sorry, those columns. So I'll copy them. And then I'm going to go back here at the end and I'm going to paste them. And now we have AL, so I need one more. I'm just going to go ahead and click add one more, insert one to the right. Now we have AM. So A through AM is what you need. That will fill your paper perfectly. Any more, you're, not, you're going to run off onto another sheet of paper. Now the one drawback is you can only go from 1 to 32 you cannot go past 32. If you mark that you can't go past 32, like if you were to put a red line or highlight something, then it's going to show up on the sheet when you print it and it's going to go to another piece of paper. So it's just something that you have to know, that you have to tell your students that 32 is as low as they can go. Now if I were to highlight the entire workable area, it's basically an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper is what you're looking at right here with margins so that the Ozobot doesn't go too close to the edge and get stuck off, off the edge of a paper. So to turn this into an Ozobot track, all you have to do is select what you want and then choose the fill bucket here and turn it the color you want it to be. I only have access to uh, black and white copier so I would only use the black on what I'm doing here if you have if you're lucky enough to has, have access to color you could actually have your students fill in everything in color and they wouldn't have to code afterwards with markers my students will just have to do it the really hard way where they're just going to leave spaces where they want to have a code so let's say I want to have a code. I'm going to fill in this road right here. I'll leave four blanks, just white blanks for the code, and then I'll continue my track. That's where I would put in a code. You can also do things like if you wanted round edges, if you wanted round turns, I, I usually leave the last five of a corner off. I'll leave that white, and then I just color in with a black marker a rounded turn and I'll show you that once I print some of these out this is really all there is to it if you wanted to get fancier you could put one comment right up here in the corner giving directions on printing and how to create the sheet uh, I'll show you another track I have here this is my actual master track that I use and here it says check the comment if you click that comment it tells you how to set up the sheet how to fill it and it gives you the printing directions. Now the printing directions are important and I'll put them in the description but you want to make sure that you have letter set up you want to make sure it's set to landscape and the scale is what you have to change. Change the scale to normal 100 percent. You do not want it to be fit to paper or anything like that. Scale normal 100 percent is what you want and keep the margins normal. You could also create another sheet with those directions on it if you didn't want to use a comment. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to print a couple of these and then I will switch over to another camera and I'll show you what it's like filling those in. So I've printed one of these grids out that I created and I'll be using my Mr. Sketch markers which I have found to be the most useful for Ozobot coding. And first, I've, up in the corner here, I left those few blanks so that you could actually just add in your own curves if you wanted to. And you'll see that the Mr. Sketch, when you use the fat side of it, really does match up nicely. If you wanted some more organic curves, 
You can add those things in anywhere you really want to. It'll work just fine. Now we can get into the coding. Let's say I wanted to code this guy right here. All I would need to do with the Mr. Sketch is one pass across the road. That's what I tell my students, one pass across the road. That's all you get. Any darker than that, it's not going to work so well. And then if you only have a three color code, then you just fill in the rest with your black marker. Let's see how it works. Seems to work pretty well. Of course, we'll get to a dead end here because there's no code. Well, I hope that was useful for you. And if you have any suggestions or any way that we can make this better, please leave it in the comments and I can add it in. Thank you.